Hi guys, today I'm going to take a look at the little baby V Park. Little tiny baby thing. Just thought I'd give you a little look at it. This is a quick look. Fips like a charm. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the V Park mini kit. Then the kit you'll get two boxes. A box with a tank and a box with a device. So we'll take a look at the tank first and open this up. There's a pearl black edition. So this is kind of like a speckled grey black thing going on. And we'll open the box and you'll see inside the box basic set of instructions of how to fill and how to use and replace the coil as well. Uh, quite good. Further in the box you'll see a atomizer 0.5. It is a sub ohm so please make sure before you use it to prime it properly. It is a sub ohm tank, they do need priming properly. You'll also get a colour coded drip tip. Uh, we can see what sort of bore size it, that is. So it's quite a big bore size, relatively good. So you get that with it. And if I get it out, if it allows me to get it out, you get the tank itself. Okay, this is a two milliliter tank. It's not a big tank. So, you know, just be aware that two milliliters isn't gonna last very long if you're blowing big clouds. You'll see on the bottom, it does have adjustable airflow. Uh, you should be able to see, kind of, there you go. And that locks out of place as well. So it is a pinned adjustable airflow. You'll see on the top, you also get a drip tip, which has got air adjustment with it as well. And that can be opened just by twisting the tip. You can see the airflow there. And that's fully adjustable. That pops on the top. And by unscrewing the top, you can see quite clearly how to fill these tanks and you'll see a couple of very large fill parts or filling parts and that screws back on and that's aided by two very strategically placed silicon implants <laughs> if you've got a juicy fingers you can still have the grip to undo it when you screw the bottom off you'll see that the atomizer is loose. This does not screw in at all. It simply is placed in and screwed on. And you can see it's quite large juice flow holes. And don't forget when you're priming it, prime it properly. That just fits in there. And then the bottom of the tank screws on. It's a nice little tank, 510 connector, so it will fit on bigger units, <laughs> 2 mil tank, I don't think you probably will, but if you wanted to, you could do. And now we'll take a look at the device. So this is the device itself, again, pearl black, and inside the box you'll find another box, and inside this box you'll find your device first thing you notice its size it's tiny also in the box you'll find a set of instructions and a USB cable the instructions are quite basic but they're good enough for a read so this is a little device you'll notice that it is made of some kind of metal on the bottom is your vent parts and you get a USB charge part as well now this is purely a charge part when you are charging this device you cannot use it it is not a pass-through device when it's on charge if you try and use it it's just not gonna work so on the bottom you will see an on and off switch and that switches the system on. 
the little dial at the top indicates your wattage. Now this is a, a 30 watt, maximum 30 watt mod. And keeping the dial twisted will take it all the way down to 5 watts. It's not a round robin. Um, once it gets to 30 watts it doesn't go back to 5, it just sits at 30. And then you get your fire button right next to it. You press that, we'll get an error code. Error code states number one, error code is no atomizer. It's a silicon sprung centre pin. It's not a spring loaded centre pin. The battery in it is an 18350 1000 milliamp hour battery. So this is not for your all day mod. If you blow clouds and you like to have a good old vape it's not going to be your first mod this is an addition to your collection this is something that you slip in your pocket when you're just nipping out a bit of shopping for a couple of hours or if you're going to the pub for a couple of pints this battery did me about an hour and a half to two hours uh, vaping at 25 watts with the tank that was on it at half an ohm if you are wanting to plan on using this as an all day mod um, you can, uh, but it would be a standard tank like a Nautilus, uh, running it around about 12, 13, 14 watts, and you'll get about 5, 6 hours out of it. It is an addition, unless you're a very light vapour. The minimum resistance on this unit, believe it or not, is 0.3. It will go all the way to 2 ohms, but 0.3 um, for something that size is totally amazing so we'll just bung the tank on that just screws on there not too tight of course just finger tight and that's the unit itself now when you compare one unit with the likes of a Cooper Plus there is a significant difference in size <laughs> it's just totally mad so yeah it's tiny it is really really tiny and that's the uh, VPAC mini kit okay filling operation so let's uh, fill this big boy up so you just unscrew the top grab a glass unscrew the top is quite nice for a sub tank and you'll see at the top two rather large filling ports so I've got my juice juice of the day for me is blue nuts Cornish. it's very nice blue bitty, blue bitty donut thing going on and let's get this on camera properly I'm going to stick the nozzle of the bottle down the hole and I'm going to fill gently squeeze it two mil <laughs> now it's full when that juice hits those holes that you're filling through just get the top back on doesn't have to be too tight okay let's switch the unit on and the first number you read is 92 and that tells me that it's 92% charged charge rate on this doesn't take long to charge 40 minutes from flat it charges really really quickly especially if you're using something like a 1 or a 1.5 amp output and it will take up to 2 amps charge so even some of the higher powered sort of iPad um, charge plugs will charge this uh, no problem very very quickly very very quickly if you're using a, a 500 milliamp hour it may take slightly longer an hour and a half or so so I'll press the button and off we go this vapes like a charm really 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 well it chucks clouds out like you'd never believe That's the V-Pack mini kit.
Okay, so that was the quick look. Had the little baby V Park. It's gorgeous. Do bear in mind the battery doesn't last very long. If you're a keen vapor like myself and you like to blow the odd cloud, you know, it's going to do you a couple of hours tops. Two mil tank. <laughs> if you're on doing 30 mil a day, you're going to be topping this thing up quite regularly and charging it up. And also, don't forget, it's not a pass through. Don't plug it in, try and use it, it won't have it. Uh, but other than that, it's a beautiful, gorgeous little thing. Um, slip it in the pocket, it's fantastic. We love it. It creates the clouds. Um, there's not many things out there that size that will produce a cloud like that. It's like seed in a thunderstorm. Um, so yeah, pop along in the shops, take a look, and ask, ask about the V-Park Mini. <laughs>